What's up guys? This is Chris here from East Coast PC and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Samsung's latest take on their T7 portable SSD. It's called the Samsung T7 Shield. This is the black one terabyte version we have. And we got this portable SSD about two weeks ago. So we would have a way to easily transfer large files from one computer to another or from our laptop to one of the other computers. And it's worked out very good for us. I, I'm very satisfied with the performance we're getting out of it. We paid about $99 for this thing on Amazon. And today, basically, we're just going to go over some performance numbers for this thing. We did some synthetic benchmarking. And most importantly, we got some real world numbers for you guys that would most likely affect each and every one of y'all watching this video. Because, spoiler alert, the synthetic benchmarks definitely don't tell the full story. Before we get started, if there's anybody who is not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like, comment, do all that good YouTube stuff. We appreciate each and every one of y'all so much. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we have our Samsung T7 Shield. As you guys can see, it has a black rubberized coating on it, and that's what makes this different from the original Samsung T7 portable SSD. On this end for connectivity, all we have is one USB Type-C 3.1 port rated for 10 gigabits per second and one little LED indicator light to let us know when we are reading and writing to this drive. What else we have in the box is two USB 3.1 cables. We have one Type-C to Type-C and then we also have one Type-C to Type-A and both of these cables are rated for 10 gigabits per second. So as long as your computer, laptop, Mac, whatever you're using is has a port on it that's rated for 10 gigabits per second which will either be called USB 3.1 or now that they renamed them USB 3.2 Gen 2 you will be good and you will be able to get the full performance of this drive. So let's talk a little bit about specifications. This drive is rated for 1,050 megabytes per second for read speed, and it's also rated for 1,000 megabytes per second for write speed. Now, we do not have any random read and write uh, performance numbers directly from Samsung, unfortunately. Uh, I've looked around on the internet, and uh, from everything I can tell, Samsung did not release no specifications for the random read and write performance of this drive. So, We'll talk a little bit more about that in the performance in the next section. But one other thing I want to talk about here is what really makes this drive different, like I said, is the, is the black rubberized coating. It has a IP65 rating and it is rated, it's fully dust proof. So you don't have to worry about any dust getting inside of it. And that's what the 6 is for in the IP65. As far as the 5 goes, it basically can only withstand low pressure jet streams of water it, you know maybe like some harder rain or something like that but it, it cannot be submerged now the biggest uh advantage to having this drive over the t7 or a lot of other portable ssds is that it is drop proof uh, it's supposed to be drop proof up to 9.8 feet or three meters now obviously i haven't tested that with uh, you know this is i paid almost a hundred dollars for this drive we use it as a tool every day in the shop here so i'm definitely not going to be testing that out i'll leave that to some other youtubers that you know buy things to destroy it for the sake of science but um it, it does really feel durable you know and hopefully it'll be a very durable ssd i and and uh, here's the other thing it was almost the same exact price as the original t7 when i bought it uh at the time of filming this video it was between 105 and 110 dollars at best buy and amazon and stuff but uh, it, when i bought it, it i paid 98 dollars and 97 cent or something like that from directly from amazon so i felt like it was a pretty good purchase so with that out of the way, let's talk about some performance numbers. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to be putting up on the screen for y'all to see is the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark. As y'all will see from these numbers that we're putting up, we did not quite get to the advertised read and write speeds of the drive that Samsung advertised, but we are so close that I definitely give this a pass. I've had very few drives that hit the exact number. I don't know if I've ever had a drive to hit the exact number that was advertised. I've always been very, very close. 
but uh, we, you know, as far as sequential reads and writes goes, we definitely get a pass. We are definitely close to the numbers that Samsung advertised. Now, as far as all the other random read and write numbers on the Crystal Disk Mark, I ran this test uh, multiple times, and it, they came by about. They came out the same about every single time, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but it's safe to say that this is the performance that you should get if you buy this drive. I also tested this with two different computers, an Intel Z390 platform and a AMD X570 platform. So we should be covered all, you know, on all bases. So I thought the performance numbers in the Crystal Disk Mark looked pretty good. So, but how is this thing going to perform in real world scenarios? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at now. The first thing I did to, to test out how fast this drive could write is I transferred the entire Cyberpunk 2077 install from my Z390 computer directly to this drive. And the, the full size of that game, uh, it'll, I'll be putting that up on the screen as well as long as well as the whole transfer process it'll be fast forwarded but you'll be able to see all of that and it was about 63.6 gigs i want to say it was the whole size of the cyberpunk 2077 install and i was only getting about 600 and between 600 and 650 megabytes per second write speeds now obviously that is not the 1000 megabytes per second write speed that we were that samsung advertised but i tested this over and over on multiple platforms and it's, it came out about the same every time so finally i was confident in the result and uh you know but but what do we think about that well it's it's definitely not the advertised write speeds and usually how how these drives work now one other thing i do want to note this is a pci express nvme drive inside of this portable ssd it's not a it's not a sata interface so you know that definitely gives it a performance advantage and usually the way it works when you're writing large files once you fill up the cache if you don't have enough single level cell cache and then the drive slows down considerably now i didn't once i got to that peak speed of about uh most of the time it stayed in between 600 and 650 and a lot of times stayed around the 650 mark it, it basically stayed there in that range the whole entire time once it got up to speed which is a great thing and and that's very good performance the only thing is like i said it's not it's not what they advertise but overall I, I still think it's a very good performing drive and and here's the other thing it all depends on what type of files you're writing where they're writing from where they're going to now we should not have any problems with my test systems because it, everything that i was transferring uh, these files to uh and back from any computers that i'm transferring with uh, are are all with nvme pci express drives they they're all very high quality either samsung 970 evos wd black sn 850 or uh, samsung 980 pros on the new amd platform so we definitely should not have any problems there that's why i also wanted to test with two systems so after i got done with that game i said okay let, let me just do one more game for good measure the next game we do is far cry 5 and with that game it is 73 gigs even in total size and once again i got almost the exact same numbers uh between 600 and 650 megabytes per second write speeds and you know like i said it is what it is it's not the full write speed that samsung advertised but overall that uh, i believe we transferred cyberpunk 2077 in about one minute and 47 seconds and it took just over two minutes, about two minutes and three seconds for Far Cry 5 to complete right into the SSD. The next thing I wanted to test out here was how fast the drive could actually read a file and or do a se sequential read. And what I did to test is, I also wanted to test a smaller file. So I tested one of our, one of our recent YouTube videos, our Ryzen 7000 launch video, and the size of that file was 5.71 gigabytes now that file i reached a peak speed of just over 700 megabytes per second that's how fast that i could write it to uh, both of my other systems from this drive so basically what was limiting us was was how fast that drive could read it and like i said that was over 700 megabytes per second we're going to be putting all that on the screen for you guys to see as well 
Now, once again, we were uh, between 600 and 650 writing to the drive and now reading from the drive in a smaller file that you will probably be, you know, more likely to transfer day to day. We were only at about between 700 and 725. I don't think I crossed over 725, but like I said, it'll be on the screen. So between 700 and 725 megabytes per second read sequential read speeds. Now, it's not that it's a uh, you know bad performance. I'm still very happy with the drive, but it is not what Samsung advertised, and I cannot tell you exactly you know why you would have to go through and test uh, hundreds of different types of files and you know it's just basically what i wanted to do in this review is transfer some large files see how fast this drive could write see if it thermal throttled and we didn't have any of those kind of problems but when i was transferring large files from my windows computers to and from this drive i was not getting the sequential performance that that samsung had advertised but with that being said Overall, it's still a very, very fast drive. I feel like a lot of people use these drives for, probably to transfer video clips, to transfer pictures, all of that good stuff. And it writes stuff like that so fast. I mean, literally in seconds. Uh, that 5.71 uh, gigabyte file that we transferred, our recent YouTube video that we transferred from the drive back to our computer. And like I said, the only thing that should have been limited in us was how fast that drive could read the data. It, it, I mean, it literally transferred the whole file in seconds, and that was close to a six gig file. So, for most everything, this drive is super fast, and I can I can highly recommend it. Now, there is a lot of other options on the market, and you know that's something that you can look into. But for under a hundred dollars before tax for this drive, I just really like the durability of the drive, and it's become a very good tool for us here in the shop. Up until recently. Uh, since I quit using an external hard drive years ago, I, I have a lot of large USB uh, USB 3.0 and USB 3.0 flash drives, and I had been using those a lot around here to transfer my videos, because a lot of times once I transfer stuff, I weren't in that big of a hurry, but it got to the point where I'm doing so much, and I, you know, a lot of times I am pressed for time. And the biggest thing about flash drives like that, they cannot write very, even though they can write very fast, they only write very fast for a short amount of time. So if you're transferring 10 or 20 gigs, a lot of times they throttle and slow right down. They just cannot write very fast for long periods of time. And that's where this uh, Samsung T7 Shield has really came in handy for us around the shop. So. With that being said, I, th I feel like I can fully recommend the drive. Like I said, uh, doing large transfers, sequential reads and writes, we didn't get to the numbers that Samsung advertised uh, with the specific files types that I was testing. And I do think I did a, a pretty good job of testing the regular types of files that a lot of people will be using day to day. And I, like I said, also, if you're just transferring video clips that are, or, or full size videos that are three, four, five, six, seven gigs, and and you know high megapixel pictures and stuff like that high res pictures this thing will transfer those types of files in literally seconds it's it's extremely fast and i, I feel like i can recommend this drive for anybody that needs a good solid durable that's the biggest thing about this drive if you don't want something that's durable then there's so many other options but with this being uh highly rated for, for durability i really like that and that's one of the things that drew me to this drive all right guys so that's gonna about wrap this review up for anybody still watching this video and i hope it's most of you i want to thank each and every one of y'all if there's anybody who is not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button drop a like comment do all that good youtube stuff we appreciate each and every one of y'all so much and we will see y'all soon